One of the fastest growing subcultures in cycling is taking over cities in the United States and abroad and showing no signs of slowing down, especially because riders ride without brakes. The fixed gear movement is still relatively young. Although these bikes have been in use in track competitions since the 1800s, fixed gear riding has become a subculture only recently. Originally popularized by bicycle messengers in large cities across the world beginning in the early 1990s, the fixed gear or fixie movement in cycling is centered around a common fixed gear track bicycle. Essentially, a fixed gear bicycle is one that does not have a free wheel and does not allow the rider to coast. On a fixed gear, the sprocket is screwed directly onto a fixed hub. The chain runs from the hub on the rear wheel to the crankset to which the pedals are connected. When the rear wheel turns, the pedals turn in the same direction. This allows a cyclist to stop without using a brake by resisting the rotation of the cranks and also to ride in reverse. Since the emergence of fixed gear riding as a subculture in cycling, the world has seen an exponential increase in the amount of fixed gears in use. As a result, many bicycle manufacturers have begun to produce pre-made, low-cost fixed gear bikes designed to be ridden in urban areas. Seen largely in the bicycle community as a trend, fixed gear riding has been adopted by youth and used as a tool to exercise nonconformity in cycling. Fixed gear riders also value the bikes for their low maintenance demands, aesthetic simplicity, and easy customization. Because of its uniqueness and originally small following, fixed gears have often attracted members of vast numbers of other subcultures in music and arts. I started riding back in June, but I've been riding, I used to uh, race BMX back when I was 9, 10, and then I just kind of stayed away from bikes, and then my brother actually for the past three years has been riding, and then I didn't really ever have a reason to get a bike again until I went to college, so I, I definitely, I've always definitely wanted a, a fixed gear since he's had one, just had no reason to spend money on one, but now that I have one, I'm definitely going to keep running forever. Um, from what I've seen on campus here, it's just like real scruffy bros. It's just heavy you now. They just look real grungy and rugged. They're just, they're just cool guys. I was going to say, I've seen a lot of pictures and most of the people that ride them look like hipsters with like tight pants, tight shirts. Ray-Bans, beanies, uh, bands. Usually roll one leg up on the uh, side of the pant that has the sprocket on it. If you're a hipster, then you have a fixed gear. Or if you have a fixed gear, you have a, you're have a hipster. Mm -hmm. It sucks, because I'm not, I mean, I ride a bike because it's fun not to be a hipster. I've always ride, I've always rode bikes, so. Well, the, the people that I hung around with that wrote Fixies, it was uh, it had a lot more to do with the kind of punk rock DIY scene. Um, and I guess that's really very common. That's probably very common with the bike messengers as well. That there's, there's something about that kind of simplicity, that utilitarian um, just the purity of the bike that the DIY people really it appeals to them, and I totally understand that. I was so intensely proud the day, you know, I built my own fixie, like I just got a bunch of pieces together and built it myself, and that's that seemed to be part of the, the pride, that it, it doesn't really count if you have somebody make your bike for you. But from what I understand, and I, I never rode a, a fixed gear bike professionally, I never did it competitively, I didn't do it as part of a job like the bike couriers do. And from what I understand, within fixed gear you actually have multiple different like sub-subcultures. You have the people who are bike messengers who really do it for their own 
whatever, and they have their own ideology that goes into it. And then you've got the competitive people, and then you've got the schmoes like me, who just do it because we love bikes. I, I just think, um, I think most people have bikes just because it's fun, but I think there are the slick few that have a bike, have a fixed gear just because they think it's cool. And if, you're, if you don't have a fixed gear, you're not a true hipster. Uh, my friends got me into it. Uh, I kind of just use them for a, as a commuter commuter bike and to do some tricks on. Uh, I also ride a uh, geared bike, so don't really have a preference. It just depends on what I'm doing. If I'm going for a longer ride, then I'll get on my geared bike. But if we're just messing around, I'll probably get my fix. Within bicycling culture generally, the only thing that links us together is, you know, two wheels good, four wheels bad, and that's about it. But beyond that, there's loads of different um, factions between the mountain bikers and the cyclocross people and the people that ride recumbents, and, um, and everybody thinks that they ride the best bike. I don't think you could say that fixed gears are black sheep of uh, cycling, but I think a lot of serious, serious riders do look down on fixed gears, um, just for whatever reason. Um, because I, I, don't, I have no idea why, actually. I think cars would take you more seriously if you're wearing like a, like a suit and a helmet and uh, look like you're really, you know, being serious about what you're doing rather than some kid on a bike, which is fixed gears are just simple and not a lot of fixed gear riders wear helmets. Yeah. BMX riders hate on fixed gear riders just like for the trick side of things because they're like, oh, it's a fixed gear that should be, you should be on the road doing races you shouldn't be doing tricks but I don't really see much road racing like road bikes like really hating on fixed gears it's a lot more fun you can do anything on it you can ride backwards you can do tricks you can change your gear ratio to go fast you can race you can hang around and cruise with your friends and it's just it's a lot more fun to just cruise around on a fixed gear than it is to just like coast around on a road bike or a mountain bike or Stone edge in the way. 